Where are you going? Is any old business some off out? Where? Never you mind. Listen, you're not too big to get a good idea. You should start treating your elders with a bit of respect. Respect? What? Me? Show you respect? You've got to earn it, Dad. Don't you give me back, chap. When you were young in Bolton, in your mother's arms, I'm a Bolton lad through and through, you know. You know what you like, don't you? What? A Bolton upbringing. Okay, Dad, I know I'm not worthy. I wasn't lucky enough to be brought up in Bolton. Look, there's four around here who give the right hand to come from Lancashire. Listen, don't be taking piss out of me, sunshine. Yeah, Dad, there's stuff on eBay here that could make us a fortune. eBay? What the hell's that? You must have heard of it by now. It's where people are selling loads of stuff. Loads of stuff we could be selling. Make a fortune. Get out of this hovel for a start. Hey, hovel, eh? So I put a roof over your head and you're so ungrateful. You put a roof over my head? Ah, that's rich. It's me who pays all the bills round here. Ah, you make me laugh. What have you sold lately for bringing any dosh into this house? Nearly sold a bike last week, didn't I? Ah, I remember that one. That one what we robbed from next door. Don't want him coming round with his attitude again, do I? Well, it was his bike. He had a right to be pissed off, Dad. What are you saying? You were the one who bought it off that kid in the street. He even said that when you, it was the same as his next door. It was his, because I've got the bruises to show it. If I'd have been there, Dad, I'd have crowned him. I'll bleeding crown you in a minute. What a bleeding great hell you've been. You'd be great in a while. First sign of action and whoosh, where would you be? I'll tell you where I'd be. In the front line, Dad. I'm no shirker. Anyway, what did you do in the war? Cheeky guy, weren't even born. Oh, the old excuse, eh? If I'd have been old enough, I'd have been there. And I'd have been decorated too. Decorate? You can't even decorate this friggin' house. I'll decorate your face in a minute. No, safe to say, I'd have been officer material. Do you think that running a business must be as hard as running a regiment, Dad? Why? Because you certainly can't run a business. So God knows what you'd be like commanding troops. Sod off, running a business? What are you, Alan Sugar? What have you got in bank, anyhow? Funny you should say that. The bank rang me up the other day. He said to me on the phone, Mr Spooner, have you overlooked the fact that you've gone overdrawn? I said, no, I haven't. Could you? sends him over a hundred feet at top speed. Lifty look, and he's not through yet. Into the dragster. Evil super sprint car with built-in drag chute to slow him down. What a hope. And now, the Sky Cycle. That daredevil death-defying supersonic sky plane on wheels. And here he is on the super cool chopper bike. With the power that can really rip. He's sensational. He's evil Knievel. He's a knockout. He's ideal. Says here, Britain's on the verge of an historical business deal with France. Yeah, don't trust them. Trust them. The frogs. And where's my tea? Where's my tea? You make your bleed known tea. Anyway, it's your turn to make them anyway. Well, if it's my turn, why did you make the tea? To give you a break, I made my own. Nice cup of this. About time we had a nice cuppa. I'm not surprised it's a nice cuppa. They're Lancashire tea bags. <laughs> anyway, if our government wants to do business with the frogs, that's okay with me. We need all the business we can get, mate. We're in Europe now. Yeah, but for how long? Well, I don't know. 
No, we'll only have another year and we'll be out anyhow. You've been saying that for years, Dad. Yeah, but things have changed. You don't change. Hey, look at this ad in here. Somebody's selling some old fishing gear. So? There's money in this stuff. It's biggest sport in Britain. There's more people fish than play football. There's more money in football. There's plenty in fishing. Have you seen the price of fish in supermarkets lately? We're talking about fishing as a sport here, Dad. Not your deep sea fishermen out in the North Atlantic. But Jesus Christ. Well, I'm off up the shop. Get some cans in. The match is on tonight. Well, I'm off to buy some fishing gear. Out of paper because it's a bargain. See you later. That's the look. Where have you been? Just get hold of some of this stuff. Got myself a bargain. We'll make a killing on this stuff. How much for all this? A fiver. Can you believe a fiver? That, that, that guy don't know that this stuff's worth ten times more. Sure this was a fiver. Looks too good to be true this. Yeah, so don't worry, this is all a buckboard. This is bent gear, this is dad. We'll make a killing on this. What do you mean we? I know nothing to do with this. Well, it's your money too. I took it out to housekeeping. Jesus Christ. What are we waiting for? Come on, let's get down that tackle shop and flog the lot. What, you think they'll buy it then? Think? They'll go for it up, line and sinker. You watch. Well, it's safe to assume we won't be welcome in this shop again. He'll be well pissed off. I'm not surprised, Dad. You did try and sell him his own gear that's robbed from his shop. Play the game. <laughs>